Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The promo of summer starts today, guys. Footies is finally here. Get ready for pink cards, the pink vibes. We've got the colors going today for footies because it's finally here. And I think this just kind of marks the beginning of a journey of fun and a fun time that everybody remembers of footies past on this game. And we're hoping that that continues today. And I'm excited for it. I think a lot of us are but I also want to temper our expectations just a little bit because of what happened last year on the first day of footies. The fact that we don't have any leaks and really not a whole lot to go off of today makes things really interesting and I'm excited for that. But I also want to put in perspective what today could look like for what's going to be in packs, what's going to be in SBCs, and maybe what could happen to cards on the market. So if you're excited for footies, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now let's end off the international stars team of the tournament. Basically all the Euros and Copa America content that we have been having for the past month and a half on this game ended yesterday as team of the tournament go out of packs today we had two player sbcs that nathan ake that ea could somehow not get into the game they figured it out they dropped the card didn't change any stats unfortunately he is kind of mid i like the play style pluses i'm sure he's decent in game i might even end up doing this squad it's pretty cheap it's only two squads right 85 86 rated here Decent card, just not that meta, but at least he is cheap, right? That's the thing. You can do this if you want. Maybe a Manchester City links. Maybe the Dutch links are interesting to you. Maybe it's just him that you want to try out. So 100,000 coins there is not bad. Not too much to really to complain about. Just not a crazy SBC card. We also had Mamadarshvili. This one to me just feels like a commemorative item and it deserved team of the tournament card for him as how he played in the tournament was spectacular. This one as well, very cheap. 50, 60,000 coins one squad to get him done so no complaints on the player species yesterday for me if they're interesting to you go ahead and get them done throwback marquee matchups for some tradable packs again marquee matchups has really been forgotten about this year i hope they revamp that in terms of every thursday tradable pack content next year in fc 25 that would be kind of nice and the best part of yesterday's content was footies daily login upgrade i saw this yesterday and i was like oh sweet a daily login we always love those then i saw the pack that this gives out in 83 times two that might be the best ever daily login pack ever like usually it's an 81 double or an 80 double which is solid still but an 83 times two is actually sick for turning in one bronze player each and every day make sure you get it done there's actually a couple opportunities that you could forget though and not get it done i think it's out for seven days and you only need five completions to complete the corresponding objective which the packs in here aren't crazy but the overall finished group reward is the 84 times 10 and that is a nice pack so we love a daily login and we absolutely love that. So pretty quiet day yesterday, right? The two player SPCs, marquee matchups, and most importantly, the daily login. Now, of course, there was a lot of other news yesterday as well about FC 25. And I feel like that deserves another own video in its own right. So watch out for another video in the near future of me going through some of the pitch notes that they dropped yesterday, especially with some of the information that was in there. It was a lot more news than just the reveal trailer that they put out. So we'll dig into that a little bit later, but let's talk straight off the bat, get into footies guys, because last year, this is what I really want to bring to mind. Footies is exciting. It's our favorite summer promo. There's great cards and packs. It's just one of the most fun times on the game. Ooh, look at here. We've got footies, footies hero, which is not found, footies icon, which is not found, and the footies premium design. I'm genuinely excited for footies today because it is always remembered as a fun summer promo as a lot of us remember it by. But again, I'm throwing some caution into the wind because last year wasn't that great. And I'm hoping that it's better than last year. But let's talk about some things that could make it a little bit mid. First of all, last year was the first time ever that footies cards were in packs. This used to be a promo where it was just SBCs and objectives. They would drop crazy footies cards and SBCs and give us a bunch of cards and packs to craft and to build and to work towards. And it was super duper fun. The market always crashed because there were cards re-released in packs and everybody was going towards untradeable SBC players. But last year, they decided to put the footies cards in packs, made it just feel a lot more like a money grab. And it really kind of changed the vibe of footies. Now, they did turn it around eventually by the end. But last year on the Friday, it was like six players in packs. That 
that is it. That is really, really bad. Now, we know already that it is going to be footies cards in packs again today. Probably footies players, footies premiums, and maybe footies icons and heroes. Last year, we had footies heroes, but we didn't have any footies icons. Um, there's a lot of icons and heroes, too, that didn't get a greats of the game version that are very deserving of a card. So we're just going to have to see who they decide to give out those items to. But let's talk about what is going to be in packs and there were packs added to the code yesterday that give us a little bit of insight on how this is going to work there's think of it two different ways right there's two different things that are in packs today right the footies promo cards and then there's a best of the footies promo cards will be just like we saw here on the screen of my video from last year probably some footies premium footies regular cards maybe heroes and icons in packs as a one week promo team That'll be kind of the chase cards, right? But at the same time, there will be a best of that is in packs. You see it described here in this pack code, right? You have a footies batch one prism pack, which is kind of similar to the pack that we just had this last week with like the Euro cards and the Copa cards, right? This is a pack entirely made up of special cards. The footies re-release batch one. These are old promo cards that have been released in the game already. And again, guys, one of the things that made last year's footies opening Friday a little bit disappointing were the cards that were made up of this batch one. Here's the list of cards that we had last year. Team of the Year icons were the best thing in these packs. Like, honestly, it was like Team of the Year icons, which this year seems so far behind the curve. Last year, they were behind the curve, but not this far behind because of the implementation of play style pluses so i really feel like today a lot of what's going to be in packs is just like last year fodder right we had centurions rule breakers winter wild cards ones to watch and even road to the knockout cards were added into packs last year it is at the best of batch one re-released I think that's going to happen again this year, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if we had Winter Wild Cards, maybe Fire versus Ice. I was hoping that they would start with players like Future Stars and Ultimate Birthdays, you know, but I don't think they're even going to go that far back. I honestly think they might be releasing some stuff like maybe even Radioactive or Thunderstruck cards, which may not be the most useful for us and our teams now, but that's not entirely what these are for. A lot of this is just for the general packing and crafting on this game. That is one of the things, again, that makes footy so good is all of these old special cards back in packs, you just get a whole lot more fodder because instead of packing like an 83 or a four and like an 83 times 10 or that 84 times 10, you might start to see players like 86, 87, 88 rated from some of these promos, even some 89s. You might be packing these cards, which gives you a lot more higher rated fodder, that, which then you can go put into exchanges this year if the exchanges refresh today and then do SBCs a whole lot easier. So that's kind of what the whole hype around the batch one re-release cards are. As I've mentioned as well, there might be evolutions that come out or evolutions that have already come out that require some of these players that you want to put in. Now they'll be in packs. They won't be extinct potentially anymore and they'll be packable and you'll be able to get them. So that's kind of what would expect I would expect today. Some footies, actual cards in packs. And then of course the best of re-release. Now a couple of these packs here that have been added to the code just to touch on them really quickly. These are mostly store packs. Footies week one duo guaranteed. That's kind of like your 650k pack equivalent but it's an 8425 so hopefully it's not 650,000 coins this is a cheaper footies nano pack there and you've got a footies batch one like i mentioned 85 times five footies batch one re-release so anytime you see batch one batch whatever that's going to be the re-release cards if you see footies week one which is how it's kind of described here this is the in packs footies cards footies week one that's going to guarantee you the footies cards that are in packs as the current promo team and then footies batch one is going to be the re-release cards from older promos this year now there's multiple packs here including those there's a pretty interesting um icon pack here one golazo grades of the game or footies icon player rated 92 or above that's really interesting that they're including the footies icons in a pack already. I'm guessing there's going to be footies icons dropped today. That kind of confirms it right there with that pack code being released. But here's the real interesting one for me. This pack right here, the Batch 1 Historical uh, Encore Player Pick. I'm used to saying Icon Encore all the time, but it's Historical Encore Player Pick. This sounds like a store pack, but this has been an SBC for ages before, if you guys remember, and it maybe is shown here in the video, if I go through the SBCs, 
there was a player pick that we got every single year of footies called like the batch one player pick. And I'm going to have to really try to scroll here, through here to find it. Footies best of batch one player pick, right? This is what we got last year on that first promo Friday. It gives you a one of three chance at packing somebody from that re-release, which you might be like, oh, that's no fun, right? Well, it actually is because it's really cheap. Um, and it actually, there will be some decent cards in packs today that are re-released that people may want to chase. But this reads like it's going to be in the store. If they do not release that SBC today, the footies batch one best of player pick, that'll be a little bit unfortunate if that's in the store instead of an SBC because that was always a really fun one, especially once you got to like batch two and batch three that will probably include team of the season cards and PTGs and team of the tournaments that you're just leaving packs now might be in those later on during the promo. I hope they set the precedent today with a footies best of batch one player pick because that would be good to see. Now, speaking of SBCs, let's move on to talking about this a little bit. How are we going to be packing these new footies cards and the best of cards today? Well, the 85 times five is going to refresh. The 81 plus player pick is still going to be here, but the 83 team of the week are daily gold upgrade packs, the 80 plus times three upgrade, and all of the exchanges are set to expire today. So today is going to be probably a big day of content with just quantity. If EA refresh all of these today, which they might not, we might not have exchanges for a day or two. I hope they come back. And I also hope they come back with higher ratings in here, especially especially as we're going to be packing higher rated cards during the re-release of footies. Hopefully there are 90, 91, 92 rated exchanges today. That could be mint. They could really be a great piece of content today if they do change these and drop in some higher rated ones. But we will have to see. I mean, if you actually think about it, we haven't had different exchanges since team of the year. We loved it when they came in. We still love these. But I think now we're like, okay, it's the end game. Are they going to, you know, push these up a notch? So I'm watching out for this for sure today. But really, EA, to help the hype today, needs to drop some other sort of upgrade pack. Maybe it's another 80 plus times three or an 81 double that's very, very cheap to do because the 81 plus player pick is just not it. And uh, so I ho I'm hoping for something else today. Unless if we don't get anything else, the grind is going to be pretty quiet today and it might get better Saturday, Sunday, Monday when we get the new player picks and new upgrade packs. I guess that's what we'll have at least for now, though, to try to pack footies cards is the 85.5 and the 81 plus player pick. Now, we already mentioned kind of the batch one best of player pick SBC. That is going to be pretty cheap. So like that was one of the things last year that was really exciting about it. It was just one squad. I think it was maybe a team of the week requirement in here. So I'm watching team of the weeks and team of the seasons today, especially because last year EA did not put any team of the weeks in the best of batch one. So team of the weeks went up in price. I know they're down from where they were. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I did make a pretty big investment on team of the season cards. I still have all of those. I don't plan to sell those unless team of the week cards are in the best of batch release. If they are, then team of the seasons might go down a little bit. We'll just kind of play that by ear, but this is more of a long-term thing for me anyway. So 28K to 33 or 34. I'm hoping for bigger profits than that. So we're going to risk it today. It's the end game, whatever. Now, SBCs, just to kind of wrap that up, last year, that was the brining, the brining, the bright and shining moment of content last year was a player SBC by the name of Hyun Min Sun. Footy's SBCs have always been pretty good, and we hope that that would continue today as well this card last year was insane i absolutely remember this card i don't know if you guys did this sbc he was crazy there were so many other great footies sbcs released during the promo but that's a huge staple and that's a big really important place of content today is will ea release a really good sbc there's no leaks again guys there are no leaks right now for player sbcs that could be dropping today which is crazy there might be some later on but it's honestly wild that we have no information yet. Actually, I'd be surprised if we didn't have anything. I'm sure we'll get something before content. But a good player SPC today would really help the grind and the craft. Somebody like that son who was, you know, a couple hundred thousand. I think it was like 600K. But everybody was opening packs and grinding with the best of re-release out, making it more fun to do the menu grinding and crafting. And it was, of course, a really, really overpowered meta card. So we're going to watch out for that today. Evolutions. I would be shocked if we didn't get an Evo today. We already had the footies countdown evolution, right? Where we can start getting cards that are footies Evo card type. I would imagine we get another footies-esque Evo today. Hopefully it's a banger and uh, we'll see what kind of route they go for that. If it's like, hey, take a 90 rated card and evolve them to a crazy footies or if it's like, take a lower to middle rated card and evolve them up crazy as well. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
uh, what they go with with that. There's no leaks for that either. And then objectives, we always get an objective player. The cup is expiring today that was out for Festival of Football. I'm wondering if we get a footies cup because we also had a footies cup last year on the first promo Friday of footies and footies cups are kind of always um, a staple. I would say though, if it's going to be a cup, I don't think they'd make it super crazy requirements. I hope they just give us good packs or maybe like a player reward here, like we had for Festival Football with the time loaned Musiala. I hope they give us maybe some player rewards Awards that are footies as well. We love playing for cards at this stage of the game too, especially if they're fun items. Kind of like um, even the heroes here that are inside of the season. A little bit annoying to get all the games in, but there's some decent cards here. If they gave us some shorter term grinds on a week to week basis from a cup, that would be pretty nice as well now with everything going down today right there's a huge focus on what's in packs and of course the sbcs for the packs and the footies cards themselves but like last year if it is underwhelming i mean think about it they're going to be re-releasing cards back into packs today that are going to go into nobody's team right the footies cards that get dropped today well those could go into somebody's team but there's probably not going to be that many in packs unless ea go crazy with it and go bananas with the cards then there could be a lot of hype but if content today is just okay or kind of underwhelming and none of the new cards really seem like they're going to fit into people's squads of course live on stream today we'll be watching it go down break down and we'll be able to see what's going to happen and we'll get the vibes straight away for sure but i really think that some of the cards that everybody would want to use right now would go back up in price because what right we've been seeing prices drop a lot over the past couple of days right Last week, earlier this last week, on Tuesday, Jude was 3.4 mil. He's now 2.8. He was just 2.7. He's now 2.8 million coins. This Teo Hernandez is 2 million coins. He was 2.8 on Tuesday. So we've had some big price drop-offs on the cards that are in packs and even some of the cards that are out of packs. How much is Vieira? Vieira's 1.5. What was he on Tuesday? Uh, he was one set one six one seven. So he's been dropping a lot of the market has been dropping as expected into this promo But again, I really think that if the cards that come out there are underwhelming some of these team of the tournaments Especially because they had poor pack weight. Not a lot of people pack these cards I think that some of these could rebound back up um, Maybe even some of the other make your mark promo cards the ptgs some of these cards that are just rare popular and meta people are going to want to play the weekend league like this john stones really really rare card footies always brings hype to the game as well just from a yearly basis people know this promo it's a staple promo they recognize it and it brings hype to the game i think there will be more people on the game today to be completely honest maybe you watching this video like yo i'm, I'm here for footies i'm here for it get me back on this game ea drops some good content there's going to be more hype for people to play Weekend League, to play the game because it is footies. I think the market could end up doing pretty good today. If you want to trade, if you want to invest, I would watch for those top tier, even some of the middle tier meta cards. If you can't afford Jude Bellingham, uh, team of the tournament, look at like Jude Bellingham's Tots card. He's like, what, 1.1 mil? Uh, or less than that, 1 million coins. And I'm pretty sure he was like 1.4 during the week. That's still a card that's very usable. Uh, I heard that Virgil van Dijk was dropping a lot in price yesterday as his team of the season card was like under 1.3 million coins. He's still 1.3 mil. This is a card that maybe people would go and buy to finish off or start off their weekend league today on our Friday. So that is one thing that I would watch out for. But really, it's going to come down to the packs today. It's going to come down to the SBCs and how good the footies cards are that actually drop. So watch the market today. Um, fodder, the last thing I want to mention as well, we already mentioned team of the weeks and team of the seasons. Fodder's up. 84s are 2.7. 85s are 7K. This is actually really bad for wanting to do SBCs at the moment because this fodder is so high. If you have any higher rated cards in your club, the best advice I can do for, or I can say for fodder right now is I would sell the higher rateds because like we mentioned, best of re-release cards are coming back in. That's going to make those cards drop in price. And a lot of cards in those promos were what? You know, like the Winter Wild cards we looked at and they were, you know, between 86, 87 and like 90 rated. I thought a lot of those will be back in packs. If they do some team in the tournament cards, we're looking at mid to high 80s. I think that's going to make some of the fodder market drop because a lot of these cards will get supplied a ton, especially on like the 88 to the 90 plus era or ratings of cards. I would probably sell some of those. And the low tier... Low tier fodder could go up even more, but it's really going to depend on what tradable supply EA brings today and what cards they put into packs. Because if they put like a footies icon Eto, 
into packs or a footies Neymar or probably those are two players that could be released today. I don't have any leaks. I don't have any info. But if I had to guess, they would drop an Icon Eto or like an Icon Jarzinho or a Pele just because they didn't get Icon cards during greats of the game. And then again, somebody who didn't get a card since team of the season for a, for a regular footies player would be like a Neymar. Um, man, there's so many players that got cards during like t um, team of the tournament. Uh, the Euro Make Your Marks and PTG. There might even be some players that get into footies that had Make Your Marks or PTGs that didn't get upgraded. But I more so would look for players who had Team of the Seasons to get footies cards. I mean, they already disregarded some of the cards that had Team of the Seasons for footies. Uh, like Bon Mati's already got one. Rodri had the SBC. Jonathan David had a Tots. And then he had the um, Copa Make Your Mark card that was live. So, you know, VVD already had the Make Your Mark as well. Maybe Salah. Salah would be a perfect option, to be completely honest, for a footies card. Maybe Usman Dembele, he could get a footies. You know, that sort of thing, we could watch out for those today. But it's all going to depend on the packability of the new players, how high rated they are, and what SBCs EA gave us to grind. Because again, that is the footies grinding craft. It's all about the upgrade packs, the SBCs, and having a chance at just having fun and seeing the special flair of colors when you're opening packs. You know, Actually, it's going to be really sick with the best of re-releases to open packs and see the double walkouts with crazy colors and designs. You're like, uh, okay, I remember that that uh, ugly yellow design was during Radioactive, but you know, the card that walks out behind it might be a completely different one. That's going to be the fun part with the pack animation is like, just packing different special cards and seeing the double walkout animations with the colors and kind of remembering the earlier part of the year of FC24 as well. So 40s today, I'm excited for it. But again, my expectations are tempered a little bit and we're going to watch the market today. We're going to hope for some good content in SBCs and evolutions. And of course, with the cards and packs. But you're, if you're excited for footies, make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description if you want to check us out there. We'll be live an hour before content, raring and ready to go. And I got to finish a few more games so I can get a few more packs and maybe hit some footies cards today. Again, guys, have a great Friday. I will see you in the stream today. It's been Nate for the count and catch you there. Peace out.